we're going to show you the third technique. Okay, it's called Pak Da. Hey, what's up, Wing Chun and martial arts fans? It's Wing Chun Kid here. I got my good friend here, Larry Glavosky, here today. He's hey. a Hey, what's up? So he's an army veteran and a uh, eight-year uh, experience in bouncing. In I used to work at some of the Asian gang bars, and, and um, I've been stabbed, shot, and some of my compadres have been shot and stabbed in, in, in hospital. Uh, I was one of the first doormen to wear a bulletproof vest to work because <laughs> where I was working, uh, I didn't uh, really want to get shot and die there on the site. Okay, so definitely a lot of real-world experience with violence and with gangs and um, shootings and stabbings. He's got the scars to prove it. All right, so let's get on with this video. So, punches comes in. If it's on a more straight trajectory, I can parry and punch this way, okay? So, uh, one thing that I recommend doing is actually step a little bit out of the way. So, the punch is coming. He's aiming for my chin, but if you step out of the way, at least it misses, right? So. Uh, punch is coming. I'm going to combine the step, punch, 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 and a little parry so that you can guide this so you can know where it is. Okay, so the parry is here and here. Okay, so in the uh, traditional technique, it's going to be like this, pak da, and like that, right? Or like that, like that. Sometimes it's down here, right? Sometimes it's up here, right? Okay, um, not very useful at this range because what his hand is going to come all the way here what's the use of doing this i'm still going to get hit okay so a lot of the traditional stuff not very useful in street fighting because of the distance okay so in the distance i need to use the same technique okay but i need to move so same thing move da, da. here all right the second one lap da it is in the wing chun form it's going to be like this right okay so i'm grabbing and punching at the same time. Once again, not very useful unless you're in a short range using the tra tra traditional way. But in the longer range, um, it's useful against a more of like a haymaker attack, right? So I'm here, I'm getting out of the way. That's the lap, that's the da. Okay, right in the back of the head, right in the side of the ear, okay? Yeah. So, and that's a good knockout if you can get right in the back of the head oh, yeah. there. Right out. Yeah, okay? So those are two cool techniques, and you can combine them together. Here's the third one that they don't really have in Wing Chun, but they have it in Mantis, is they do lap, pa, da. So they combine both of them. How do you use that? So do another punch, right? Yep. So you can do lap, and then you, you, if it's too far or some for some reason you want to get closer, then you do a pa here, and then da. Okay? So you're combining them together. It's called toy sam sao in mantis form. So once again, I'll show you again. So, Roundhouse? Hmm? Round one? Yeah, that's bad. Okay. So you're gonna get it out of the way, right? This is your lap, this is your ha, or it's called chum sao too, okay? And then this is your hit, okay? So especially if the guy's coming uh, and he's kind of, you want to get closer, right? So you want, you're all over the way here, right? So you're kind of climbing, climbing to get too closer to him, climbing his arm, right? So one, okay. One, two, three. Because if you don't move, it does the same thing. And I'm trying to do the technique. Whoa, look what happens. It doesn't work, okay? Because I'm trying to basically deflect his punch with just the weight of my arm. He's got all his body weight behind that punch. How am I gonna just do it with my forearm? Impossible, okay? So what I gotta do is, whoa, big force coming, get out of the way, and just use this just to guide it, right? And then this can get him off balance too, right? So once again, right, get out, do the punch. Get out of the way first, then you got this one, and then you, you can punch in the back, punch in the back of the head, but you want to get even closer, do a pop here too, and then boom, okay? So that's how you do the Choi Sam Sao, okay? There you go. Hey, thanks for watching my video, my top 10 Wing Chun and Kung Fu moves. Some of these moves are not traditional Wing Chun, they're based on Wing Chun principles, and a lot of them are from other Kung Fu styles, so what I've done is just collaborated all of them together, and giving you the top 10 of my favorite moves that you can learn uh, right away. It's not too difficult to learn these moves and they're also practical for real self-defense. Okay, so I hope you like this video. Thanks Larry for helping me out. Yeah, thanks Larry. I appreciate uh, letting you help out. Okay, awesome. So if you're new to this channel, make sure you click the subscribe button and also check out some other lessons here on this channel. All right, so we see you in the next lesson.